Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome back to another episode of City Skyline here in Fool's Town. Guys, last episode we did some more infrastructure expansions. Really sorted out that little kind of uh, roundabout um, kind of change with the highways to flat. It ran really, really well. We also removed the farming area because we're going to be adding that very, very soon at some point. But today I kind of want to work on uh, pretty much going back to the industrial area. There's a final bit I want to work on before we kind of leave that place alone for uh, a few episodes uh, in the long run. Uh, but I want to add in um, some offices, some high um, high tech offices around that industry area and get in some high density commercial shopping too before we then start to build some housing around that place. Now, before we get into it, guys, if you enjoyed this and want to see more Fool's Town in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe too so you don't miss out cool, awesome videos like this. So here is the area in question. This is what we worked on last episode, and it went so well, it does the job perfectly. Traffic doesn't go in every direction, but that's what we don't want. The whole reason I've been doing those roundabouts for like the longest time, like here and there and kind of everywhere, is because I was tr I wanted to try and satisfy the traffic going in every single direction. But I've kind of you know tried to accept I don't have to do that, and this works perfectly. You've got that road going straight through. This is more natural. It looks more realistic. I love it. So I want to work with the, this little area here and this little space there. Now, I don't want to add any more dirty industry in, you know, the industry we got here. Because it does cause a lot of traffic. And we seem to be able to manage in just fine with the flow of traffic that we now currently have. Um, the only thing I need to do, though, is add in some commercial around here. Because there's so much industry. Uh, not, not too long ago, they were begging that there's not enough buyers for products. So we have to add some more of that in. I want to add in some, in these little gaps here, some office kind of jobs. We'll keep it low. We'll do a skyscraper ban so they're not too big and ruin the kind of a uh, skyline. But we'll allow the commercial to be quite high to kind of uh, naturally play off how high these buildings are. So it kind of starts to come down in steps. They'll be the highest. Then the shops here will be a little bit lower than that. Then the offices will be even lower. So we kind of then start to bring the skyline down as it comes to the industrial area. Now, there's a few things we need to look at with this because we have two ways to get in and out. Everything I added in here now is probably going to use this junction. So it's going to be interesting to see how well it can, uh, how well the traffic can flow with this. Because not much traffic uses it. It's only really this off ramp here. So we, we might have to play around with that at some point. But also, how do we build stuff into here? Because they're all going to come down and use this junction. And we might see traffic build up here. Now, do I create another junction further up that filters into this that just simply comes down? Do I make this come down a lot earlier or keep it like that to make traffic go underneath? I I don't really know how this is going to play out or work. But I suppose there's only one really the right way to find out. Now, the good thing about having offices in this space here, if I go to the office area over here, look at how much traffic is here right now. Literally zero. <laughs> so that would be a good little buffer zone between the two and stuff like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to get rid of this road. As cool as it is, we don't really need that because it's going to be all commercial. Let's see what we can play around with then. So I want the big six lane road and I think we'll bring it down from here. We will add that road back in maybe, I don't know. Uh, but let's play around with this. So if we bring this down and we want to make it to some kind of bend around and go down here. So if I kind of cut it up to there and then bring it up to there and then we'll do some nice curvy bends on it. All part of the front, right? All right, add that one in there. Ooh. So it just comes down and curves around and bends beautiful. Might need to uh, use the move it tool here just to bend that out a bit. Glorious. Then we will add roads coming off it for all the commercial stuff. So I want to keep the junction away from this area because that's where a bulk of the traffic is coming out. I want to keep it like that and just play around with this. So then we'll go into one of these, a four-lane decorative road. What's this one here? It's a large avenue with grass. Um, Two-lane decorative strip of parking. That might be good for the office area. We'll play off that. And I don't know if I wanted to have it connected down to here. I'm thinking no. We'll have it all based off this road. So 
So let's bring it out first um, to there. And then I'll bring that, let's say, to here. And we'll have it end there. So it looks a little, little bit funky, but don't worry. We'll play around with it now. And I'm thinking I might actually turn the commercial to have this type of road as well. It's just something that we haven't worked before in the city, and it does add parking for the shopping area. It might be a good way to go. Right, let's upgrade it to be that. We don't know how much traffic we're going to ensue and have, so it'll be quite interesting to see. Um, right, so we'll then make a road to slightly come off here and stop there as the junction for this area. Um, and we'll, I'll have it end there, so we kind of create another bend. And there we go. So it bends around nicely, nice little wiggle around. It's going to have all nice, beautiful offices in. It's going to be glorious. So, oh, wrong one. We'll do the same over here. So I'll create a junction just there and bring that down. So we're going to really try and utilize low traffic flow. That's kind of the aim for this. So it's all going to come off this junction here. So we need to make sure that that is solid. We need to do really good lane management and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know whether now to make stuff go underneath. I don't know. We might do the smaller roads going through. And I don't know whether to create or have this bend up and round and connect down to there. Because now it's not really connected to this roundabout. Not a lot of traffic is going to be using it. But I don't know if traffic is going to come from here to go up to here, down and round. What I could do is actually put this in first before we build anything. Now, would that go across? It would do if I built it like this. But let's put a bend on it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Right, pause. Sonia, you're breaking things. You're breaking things right now. So let's get this back to what it was. I'm not actually sure which one it is either. Right, it's not that one. It's a deeper one. There we go. So, right, let's get back to this road. Um, right, should we bridge it up a little bit? Let's just bridge it up. And you know what? We'll keep it fairly high. And it can bend down to there so we can like treat it as if it was this high area. Like that. And then we can have like, we can have roads going underneath it like how that is there. So then these high roads are at the same level as some of the buildings. Only if this is going to work though. We don't know if it is going to work. Let's just bring this down a bit. So I don't want the traffic to then decide that this is the perfect route for them to then... Because we've done so well with filtering it around. I don't want them to decide like, oh, do you know what? We're going to go this way instead. That's not what I want. Let's try and sort some of this out as well. So I just want to lower it a bit. We don't mind too much it causing ruffles and bumps. But that's where we have to kind of push it out to the side a bit more. There we go. Let's create more of a sharper bend. All right, glorious. Uh, so yeah, I'm not seeing many vehicles using now, but we'll fast forward a little bit. It, fast forward in this save file doesn't do too much, but we've seen a few vehicles go over. Because then if we can then... I'm not saying... When we get all this up here, I'm not saying they're going to be using this area, but obviously the more people that then use this, less people are using this, but I don't want them that to be the priority. Because I do want them to get onto the highway to go into the direction they need to go into. But we're just playing around with it. Okay, let's bend this a bit more. Um, bend. 
stick it out a bit more. Okay. Right, sweet. Right, let's leave it like that then. Um, I don't feel like they're choosing it. Oh, they've got some traffic lights here now. Let's get rid of those. How much of a change? Okay, the elevation change is, gets quite rapid. But that should be good. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So now then, we need to add in. We need to add it in the normal roads. So let's go... Hmm... Not one-way roads, not that, but the one with... No, not bicycle lanes. Is there any ones that have park... Well, I suppose they all have park on the side. We'll go with the ones with the grass and no trees. So view vehicles are now using it, so... Okay, let's just go off that then. So let's bring... Oh, wrong one. Let's just bring this out. So bring it out by one there. We'll bring this one out by one as well. So we do it on both sides. Just simply bring it out by one. So we can then bring it down so bring it's kind of straightish here so bring that out by one to there and then bring that down as well and that filters round through that's going to be really really cool I like that so then bring this up by one as well but we'll bring this one up by two and create that slant there and then bring that by one bring it out by two and create another slant oh it's gonna be so good this little area i don't want to overpopulate it because that when we start to get the huge traffic issues that's when we really do start to get a huge traffic issue so we want to try and keep off that Keep off it as much as possible. The huge traffic issues. Now, I'm noticing as well, there's a few vehicles using this, but it's not a lot. If that's the majority of it you're going to use as a cut through, we can handle that. We can handle that. Okay. So bring this out by one more. Because at the end of the day, we are trying to create a few grids. All right. Can I get that as close to that line as possible? Ooh, right at the end it turned, right at the end. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. And keep these open spaces there because we can fill them with trees and it'll look really, really nice. So let's sort this area over here out then. So let's bring it down by one again. To there. We'll bring this up by one. And we'll bring it one and a half. So let's see what we can do here. So bring that by one thing. Can we? What if it was straight there? Or what if we bend it? Okay, we can. We could possibly work. Now we actually you know what I don't like that. Okay, we'll cut in. Like straight. Now, do you know what? I don't like that either. All right, it's because we went to one and a half. Let's just go one. 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 Okay, we're doing a little zigzag now. Which we created these little squares. And this is where we'll create the bend off this one. Okay, coolio. Alright, let's get the road. No, so, yeah, it looks good. Again, you want to try and keep it off it, because that's where the, the flow is going to come through with the road. So bring this up. Okay, there. And this area will do some cut-offs. So that goes up like that, but then the cut-off goes like that. Uh, we won't filter onto that as much. No, yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll create our little cut-off road up here. We'll bring... Oh, we'll stick this out. There we go. Down there. 
And let's see if we can get away with this. Ooh, glorious. Glorious. Oh, <laughs> this pattern's looking really good. I'm already impressed with these. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm already really, really impressed with these. Right, let's see what we can do over here on this side. So let's bring it out by two. And then is that a straight down? Yes. Out by two. We'll create that cutting through there. And let's see if we can get something off this. So up by one. Now it would go straight through, but let, we need to kind of make something happen over here. So bring that out, down and under. We're just going to have to move that there because it's cutting through the road. So we'll push it back to there. So it continues to go under, then we can play off this now. So if I brought that out to that, it's not ideal. So we create a nice swooping bend. And that hooks up that area down to here perfectly. So all those little intertwining gaps there would be perfect for this area. It's not too much road, but it's enough now where we start to bring in the high density commercial into the office area and then a few little trees to make it eco-friendly as we bring it into the dirty industry. It's going to be really, really cool that is. So let's take a look at this then. So we need to first zone the areas and believe it or not it's actually going to be two separate areas so Walnut Hills Green Hills Kent Heights Sunset Park Fawn Heights that sounds nice Mulberry District Crest District Birch Hills Kent Square Hever Square okay Fawn and Hever Square they're, they're, they're like, seem like really nice names you'll go with so bring this down. So this road here pretty much separates the two districts. One shopping, one's office. So this shopping area is going to be separated by two office areas, pretty much. And I just realized we've got some roads up here, or some space up here we could have played down with some more roads. So let me actually get a few more roads added up here. Now the cool thing about this is We have the space to get additional roads in. That's not going through anything, is it? No. Uh, so then we'll stick this out. All right, we can bring it up by a half. And make it cut diagonally. All right, that's fair, right? Yeah, that's fair. And I could make it just go straight down. Perfect. Right, there we go. Proper shopping district now. Right, let's get these areas sorted out then. So, hang on. First, before I do that, let me just go to Fawn Heights because we need to do policies and no skyscrapers. So, it's a high rise ban, is what I want to do. So, office areas then. Let's paint all this. Is painting the easy one to do? I mean, we can get away with the chunkier bits. But I feel like either dragging or painting would be the easier option. Let's just do the borders first. Oh, do you know what I need to do? Let me pause it. The paths. How could I forget them? Right, turn all that off so they do cut through. We need to sort these paths out, the pavings. Okay, that didn't do what I wanted it to do either. Take the snapping off. There we go. That cuts through it. Straight down. We'll just do one there. One there. One there. I forgot about all the paving stuff. Just there. Simple there. Okay, that's all on that side covered. We'll do this side quickly. All 
beautiful straight down to here just here um and i feel like everything else is okay we, we, we might do some bridges over the canal let's get to that area as well which would be perfect but i want to get the buildings in first so office area then all right that's all in there and we'll paint the rest up here so we pretty much bring it up to here then everything else over there is then commercial right high density commercial as well so let me just double check where i've now dropped it in so get rid of you get rid of that little bit there we don't really need that tiny bit we'll get rid of these here so they're not on the road um we'll get rid of that little one there right there's some down here we don't want there right that's cool that's cool that that should now work so back into play mode then we'll see how it now plays out so i like how the roads has come like to an end there and like here it comes to an end and just there's so i really like that characteristic of it so we're very interested to see how this now plays out it's got a good connection it's got a subway just here but i do believe we set up the junction restriction you can't cross there We'll set it up that you can't cross here and we'll build the back up as well. We'll we'll dedicate some some crossings in just a moment. So you can't cross there. And we'll pick that you can't cross there either. So we'll do our own dedication stuff while we wait for it to build. So pretty much what we're gonna do is and we're gonna have to kind of take away one of these buildings. Right, if we do that, that kind of creates that cross over there. We're going to need a cross over here as well. So if I build this up. Some buildings will have to be destroyed, unfortunately. Another cross over there. So you can cross here and here, there and there, and then off you go, and you can walk around nice and simple. So that should, should, um, should, kind of, should solve, there we go. Couldn't even English right then. Didn't even realize we had no water in some of this area. All right, let's get in what's now missing. Good stuff. So that solves that. We got. We need to do a crossing over here as well. I just remembered. So, or is that one gonna handle it just fine? Because the crossing could be there. We'll allow a crossing just here. Because the the traffic that turns that way is going up and over. We'll see how it plays out. So once this area is kind of built up, we should have some low-rise office buildings here. And then the commercial buildings here should be slightly higher. And then these are the highest. So we, we do get that, that kind of ladder, that step ladder effect. Kind of you know, low, medium, high. To kind of then sort the landscape area out. Right, once that's all up and running and built up and populated. And we can see where the gaps are. We'll place down the trees. And all the little nooks and crannies and gaps. Again, the subway's just here, so it's got a good connection to all these guys. But we will eventually um, have another subway loop coming down when we populate more of this area anyway. So while that's doing that, then, let's have a look at this area over here. Because we still got a little bit of a gap here we can play around with in terms of residential. Now, we've got some dirt path going around, which I'm going to delete some of it now. Because we're going to add in some more roads and we've kind of done that wave following in it around and it's kind of got the road with the trees in so put on the snapping on if i brought this up to here and then it's all bending down there's not much we can do about it if that makes sense 
We could go to there and then. Mm. We could do that. That works. You want that to go a little bit higher. So does something like that, a little bit, little bit extra thrown in. Does it have water? Yes. Place down some low residential housing. There we go. Hang on, let me get rid of that a bit more. Because that does stick out a little bit far, further, doesn't it? There we go. So, so just so it doesn't stick out as much. And then we can use this gap here with the paving again. So the dirt path, pretty much bring it down. And then we get some bends ourselves on the go. And there we go. Just do some cool patterns with it now. Nice little, I like the little spirals we can do with it. There we go, and then. Can we make that go through and around? Yes. How cool is that little squiggles right there? It is pretty cool, isn't it? So you could walk around and have the uh, cable cars go over your head. It's pretty cool, isn't it? you got to admit, it really is. I like those little squiggles. So we can actually do, as well, a bridge with these. It creates a wooden bridge. Now if we do that and connect this to there and there and connect straight up and then just sort out the height differences. A nice solid connection over. And we'll plant some trees down just to kind of fill in the gaps. Right, that should be that's pretty cool. It adds something extra onto this area. It does. It really, really does. Now, I don't know whether we would want to create paths over. we got some extra traffic going on over here too now, don't we? Well, let's sort this lane management out. Oh, let's go straight on. So that side can flow smoothly. There's not much traffic coming down from here, so as long as we can have it all working in unison. Yeah, it should be all good. Right, anyway, we've got more traffic now approaching these streets. It's Again, it's probably the initial traffic that moves in. I'm sure I got rid of traffic lights on this. I did. Right, let's do drunk. Okay, no crossing. No, we'll add crossing in, but we can like, allow them to back up. And let's do lane dictation now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's building through. I 
I don't quite want you to build through <laughs> the road. Um, okay. So let's sort out the lane dictation then. Where's the backup? See, this is this is my fear, is the fact that we did that certain type of road where it's pretty much only one lane because there's parking on the other side. Can it handle the flow of traffic? We'll, we'll see what happens over time when once the initial traffic has kind of got into the area. Let's sort our own lane dictation out on the bigger roads. Just to tell these guys where they have to go. See, the traffic's moved down here now. What if I did put traffic lights here? How would that sort things out if traffic lights did exist on this road? Not sure where that car's going. <laughs> I'm not sure where he's going at all. Damn, why is the buildings going through this? I mean, I know why this building's going through, so I forgot to send the fine anarchy thing off. But that's crazy, man. Same here, too. Well, they should now disappear. So this is now causing a lot of backlog, isn't it? So maybe just this initial road here. Uh, I don't use the one lane version of it. Same for this. We use the two lane version. So you have a lane going there, a lane going there, a lane going there, and a lane going here. Let's get rid of traffic lights. What's the junction restrictions? Yeah. So hopefully that then starts to filter it through. There we go. I slightly missed it there, didn't I? Oh. There we go. So I give it a few minutes to kind of sort itself out. But you see, there's no traffic on the inside. There's not much in the inside as well. It's just on this junction where it's trying to filter through. This is why, where I had my initial kind of thoughts of where we would get the traffic. I was right, but it's causing issues elsewhere too. Oh dear God, what have I done with all this stuff? This zoning. It's a monstrosity, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that works out. Right, we have traffic lights here, don't we? Let's keep them vehicles flowing. So the backlog's now dying down. Once there's minimal traffic going through here, it should flow beautifully. So he says. It's gonna cause a lot this is gonna cause a lot of backups. But only time will tell. I'm trying to see other ways in which we can flow or filter out the traffic. I mean, I could do stuff like this. That is lit. You know, you can exit out this area through there. So, you know, it stop people from going up here and needs to go out. If you want to go in that direction only, that kind of works. But the traffic is slowly disappearing. I 
And we could just make them all go in certain ways. Like if you're exiting it out this way, you've got to turn like that way. I don't know whether I want to do stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I've got yeah, the, okay, I've realized something. I've just I've just honestly just realized something. And it makes perfect sense. Watch this. So if you're coming out of this way, you can only do that turn. If you're coming out of this way, you can only do that turn. And I'll tell you why. If you're in this area, and obviously the only way out, what what you think is the only way out, you come out here and do that turn. But what if you want to go that way? Well, you, you just go under the bridge here that comes round to go around here to go out that way. Same if you're over here. If you want to come out here, kind of do that turn. You want to go up there. Go for the, you know, if, go the long way round. Thus making this traffic continually flow. And what I'll do as well is I'll use that one. No, I won't use that one. Yeah, I'll use that one. And... We we'll use the opposite side on this one to go straight over. So you get traffic moving. Simple. Right, to make it move continuously, let's make sure the lane dictation is agreed upon by the vehicles a lot further up the road. Because it's only going to cause many, many issues for us in the long run. And we can just get this, this traffic that's currently in here at the moment out of here. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, what seems to be the issue? Is it there's not travel lights here, is there? No. So let's allow them to back up on that little road. And it should start moving. We just gotta get this bulk of traffic out of the way. And it all should start moving. And then they continue to upgrade as well. So that's as high as these ones would go. These ones are gonna get as high as this. Not as high as some of these, hopefully. But we shall see, we shall see. The traffic lights here. Right, I feel like I need to upgrade these roads. It was a bad idea to have these as only one vehicle, if that makes sense. Because you can see a lot of them walking in the middle. And that's great and all. Promotes the walking. But it's not great for us. Alright, sort this out. So if you're turning, there you go. <laughs> and now we just wait for this bulk of traffic to move. Very painful to watch, isn't it? So again with this, if you're going straight on, use that road, else use this road. Right, we are starting to push it through now. Because the junction's moving. We just gotta wait for the backup to go through. I realize how much of a monstrosity this would have caused. Well, let's sort this is out as, as well. So this turn there and there, else you're going straight on. See, I told you this junction here wouldn't be able to take the strain of it. Uh, 
Uh, oh, there's a building right there. There we go. All right, is it still all moving? Yes, it's now funneling to the exact lane they need to go into. This is starting to flow a lot more, so it is all moving now. Perfect. Just give it time to get rid of the backlog. It's all moving. It's all going the right direction. We've still got a bit of backlog down here, but that should filter off smoothly. These are all making right-hand turns because it's the initial traffic it needs to get to these areas. I just need to keep making sure that I am disabling traffic lights in various spots. Do I now upgrade? I'm going to have to upgrade this road too. As cool as it is to have that road, it just doesn't make any sense anymore, does it? And these bulky people are walking from the subway station as well. Coming to do their shopping. How cool is that? Right, this lane turns only. Oh, there we go. Pushing the traffic through nice and smooth. Right, why not say that can turn as well so we can filter two sets of vehicles through? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. See, this is what I mean now. We kind of I don't know whether this is gonna be the traffic all the time or whether it's just for now, if that makes sense. But we need other ways to kind of get them out. So we have nothing going on down here, like nothing really attaches to this road. So what if we had a filter out road over here? Just like that. And then we just do our usual stuff to sort it out. This road only allows you to turn that way, meaning all this traffic will filter over just a you know, to, to give way. With the vehicles, no crossing on this road, allowing to back up to. So then vehicles should come down um, how do they get down here? Either come down here to turn to go out. But it could be a lot quicker than simply just going up to come down to get out down to here. Filters a lot more efficiently. There's these two vehicles, these are two police cars about to use it as well. So if they're using it, it could be beneficial. We've just got to allow it and wait for it to kind of do its thing. But it's definitely moving. It's definitely, you know, the traffic doesn't look as bad now. We're getting somewhere. Hopefully. So yeah, I can see now more vehicles coming down this route. So the more they use that as the outlet, let's go into this whole... Oh, look at this building. Just when I think I've de-zoned everything I needed to. Something else pops up. Oh, that's good. So you now can't start to see we're getting a few more little skyscrapers appear in this area. Cars are filtering in beautifully. So what we want to do here is we want to make them come in. And one of them will use to be where they switch routes. So where's the next one? So just here. So what we'll say is, this one here, we'll use as if you wanted to merge into that and you can. But then this one here is the one that you use to merge back into that lane. So you can do the crisscross over, but at different stages. So it doesn't matter how you flow in, there's always a way to get into the lane that you need to be in. And then give it a few minutes, that should make it flow. Uh, people using this? I think what I'd do to make it more efficient this road as well is take away from this. So I bring that out. We can then create a bend on it. There 
There we go. That just filters the traffic straight through to get out of this area and off into that roundabout. So it creates a nice little exit ro route there, which will be perfect for us. Nice. Right, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan. Doesn't look great right now, but we've got rid of some backlog over on this side. So it definitely is 100% moving along smoothly. Yes, boy. We're slowly getting there. Just because of the speed of the game you have to play it at, it looks like it's going very, very slow. Traffic's being filtered out up to here as well, so it's another way to get out of this area. I feel like we need another additional route as well. So, how about we stop... How about we have one come down to here as another outlet? No, this one to bring it in, maybe? Yeah, because then it can go over the overpass, couldn't it? Right, we'll try that. Right, if we bring that to there... But then this solely does that turn. Okay, perfect. That does that turn there. So they can go off and they'll probably hit this little overpass to go through. Oh my goodness me. I've got to stop zoning with the fine anarchy tool on. I really need to do that. Because stuff like that happens. Buildings go through buildings. Right, so they're all coming out now. So every vehicle coming out of here is one less vehicle that comes up to this monstrosity over here we've got. And nine times out of ten, they're going to hit the overpass to go down that way. Which ignores all this traffic, allows this to flow through even more. And why don't we say that this is a straight route only? So if you wanted to come down here, you would have made that turn up here and went down there a lot sooner. Because we can have this, this traffic on that one side continually flow through. So this is what all the lane management you have to do with. This is what you have to play around with. You almost have to cause a traffic jam to see where you can improve your roads. I'm not saying that I caused it on purpose, it was completely accident. But you can see where we're going with it now. They're using that little exit route there. Perfect. So the more that flows through, the more the backlog we kind of get rid of. And this is probably not the best connection. This is not the best connection going, so we really do need to improve that. But again, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to change any 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 infrastructure until we've got this traffic through. And then I can see what the general traffic is going to be. Because this could, like, like you know when you like build a residential area and you get the initial traffic that moved the people in? This is what I'm thinking this whole area is like. So once this is all passed through, we should be good to go, hopefully. Right, I might as well just get it on that side as well. Go straight on. So everyone can get out of here. Okay, it pulls more traffic down the road now, as you can see. Meaning more flows in there. The backlog is not too far now. I got rid of that backlog. Nothing, No backlogs going either way there. Just this initial one coming in. Vehicles are going out there, all good. Vehicles are going out here, all good. The backlog's now only up to this point, but it did cause some stuff over here. But it should all filter out fairly smoothly. Hang on, hang on, there's some lag. I think there's a big bulk of people just getting off the uh, train. Yeah, there's a large amount of people getting off the train right now. 
<laughs> no wonder there's a big chunk of lag right there. Damn, boy. Well, let's get away from that area. Look at them all coming out right now. There's a lot of people just coming out of that area. They're all about to do some shopping and stuff. So this backlog is pretty much is dying down. It flows nicely. It's coming in. Nothing to worry about too much. What if I just made... No right hand turn. So it all has to continually go down. It might make some vehicles go straight on. But it just pushes the traffic down to this area. Look at look at the waves they come in, or the pedestrians, to do the shopping in this area. It's great. It's really good. We're just trying to get this traffic to flow through. Speed limit's 50 on this road. I and no, I don't dare pull it higher. That's just making it really, really silly then at that point. Alright, it's moving smoothly. Now, what if I get rid of the crisscross that some of these create? So they're coming from one side and they all just, they just, just come in. Like, you know, let's get rid of crossing there. Just so they're filtering. Right, they should now continually come through. Because then there's no traffic going down now here now. We've kind of sorted that out because we dispersed them in various directions. Right, it's not... I mean, traffic's still there, but it's not that bad. It's something that we can work on. So let's leave it as it is now. So I just need to make sure that I've got the correct one in. That I now I don't place trees through stuff. Let me just try it over here. Yeah, it only puts trees in the little gaps. So let's do the smaller trees first. On these areas, the bushier ones, a little bit bigger. And of course, we've got to go for the big boys. Oh, we've got some over here. I didn't mean to do that. Bring that brush size down. Easy does it. I say easy does it like I'm going to go easy. And that then should really start to complement the area. With the trees now in. It looks glorious. Very, very impressed. Traffic has now just disappeared from this one side. Which is amazing. The flow of that is now just gone. It's just getting all these guys from this little connection down and in. So whoever that is creating little kink off that comes down there into that little area. Should we try that? I think this is the final thing that I'll kind of play around with now at this point. Alright, slope is too steep. It's a weird little turn that is, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. All right, let's sort this out. So let's bow that over a little bit more. And push that back a bit.
There we go. So that brings it down there. It's gonna take a lot like a lot of pressure off some of the area. And bring the traffic down and around. But half the time it isn't. Half the time it isn't gonna do that. And I don't want this side of the road to use that as well. Right, no crossing and we'll back the traffic up as well so I also feel like we're going to need to have an inlet road much like how we've got the outlets but to take some some pressure off people going this way or just like a really good I mean, I don't know if we need a really good out. You know, Shop is filtering up to get out of here as well. It's a tough one. It's one of those things you, you, you kind of have to let it simulate for a good thirty minutes to an hour to see how the how the traffic settles. We really do. Because these guys are coming down from here, and they probably want to turn, go up there to get in. So we need to like do something for these guys, ultimately, don't we? But we'll figure something out. As of right now, it's going great. It's going to open up a load of new manufacturing areas and places for this side of the city. Uh, we'll do some more offices on this one and on this one. And then everything around here will all be residential. We start building more residential neighborhoods and stuff like that, pushing all the way around the park, which should be pretty good. Uh, but we really need to ramp up our population as well because uh, it's that's at a point now where a million f population felt so far away. But I feel like a million population is what this is what this town deserves. So we need to build up on that. There's so many jobs around this area. If you go to uh, view the oh, what is it population? There's no no one lives around here, and there's so many jobs around here. Unemployment's at thirty one percent, which is great. That is so low. We haven't had it that low in a while. So um, yeah, build more residential stuff around here. This is now flowing. So you see what I mean when I say you need to give it like half an hour to an hour to let it just simulate through, because it's that initial traffic build up we kind of have to get rid of. But it's all moving beautifully. It's all going where I need it to go. But I feel like this is not the perfect junction. We can do something better with this. But it looks like it's hashed itself out. It looks smooth. We need to do something with these guys turning there. Maybe we, we, maybe we don't allow them to do that turn. I'm trying to think what the best option would be for that there. And that's just a turn there. And the same for these guys. We don't allow them to do that turn. So you either come down and go around there to get into your area, or you're turning this way and filtering in different ways. It might build a backup to go down to there. But we can then like create one-way streets going either way. That could also be accomplished too. But again... Every minute thing you've got to change and do, you just got to see how the city plays out with it. And another big thing problem is going on over here is the fact that we've got people crossing. So if we start them from crossing, this is going to be a never-ending junction that's going to continue to go along. There's plenty of other places that they could cross anyway. Something simple and easy would be
we'll just kill off that corner there. Just to go through there. Or, um, can we create tunnels on this? And create a tunnel to go cut under there. And that help them cross over and do what they've got to do. But it ultimately frees up that whole section. Why don't we think of that in the first place? I have no idea why. Why we didn't. But hey ho. There you go. Does it does is okay, I think we actually solved it. Just taking a lot of time, a lot of patience. But we've done it. We've done it. We don't want to add any more to this area, apart from this, like, offices, because offices have no traffic. So there's more offices along here. And then this side is all pretty much done. You don't want to add any more traffic to this area than what there already is. Because it is quite getting to that danger levels right now. But it is looking pretty damn good, this area. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end it for here anyway. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff we're going to work on. Next episode, we'll focus on getting the farm set up because that's another thing as well. The farm is not here no more. When we do get it set up, there's going to be more vehicles on the streets to get to the industrial area from the import and export because then they go into the farm. So hopefully they hit the highways perfectly. Don't cause too much traffic issues. We'll see. But guys, until next time, i see you all soon. So good. Bye.